Well, it is a yucky day. Rain is coming. I think it's in the forecast for every single day this week. Fantastic. I know we need the rain. It's good, but it's also a pain when you got to clean up after the rain, you know? So I went to two grocery stores this week. So I'm going to be sharing both of them in this video. First up is Sam's Club. I'll share that. And then we went to HEB as well. So we'll get into what we got from HEB. I will be popping up prices so you guys can see how it all adds up and what everything costs on its own. So let's go ahead and get right into them. Okay, so two stores this week, but in one video, starting out with Sam's Club. We did not end up going last weekend to return the dash. So when we went to return it, we were like, you know what? There's a few things that we like to get at Sam's and I needed my backup of laundry pods. So we're like, let's pick up a few things. Total was 168, but as always, I am going to pop up prices. So kids are completely out of snacky type chippy things. <laughs> so I went ahead and got the 48 pack of Pringles. There's 12 cheddar, 24 original, and 12 sour cream and onion. Then we got the turkey sticks. We are completely out of these, and this is on one of the snacks that I have quite a few days this week, or on my plan, quite a few days this week as an extra protein source, and Bryce does prefer beef to turkey. Everybody used to love these, but he is in a beef phase, so I picked up the beef pack as well. Avocados, of course, pick those up. The girls like to have these. Rose has half avocado almost every single day right now. It's just her jam. The asparagus is actually for Mark. I am going to be out of town for a couple days coming up. So he has like a full two, two and a half days that he's got to do meals. <laughs> so um, he picked up some asparagus. I think he's having steak, steak and asparagus for two nights in a row for dinner. And Bryce really loves steak too. So he's going to be excited about that. So he did pick up a pack of asparagus. Um, I just pulled my back up down for laundry so i wanted to go ahead and pick up another one and this lasts a very long time i definitely go through clorox and the laundry beads a lot faster than the power packs but there's 130 in here total and they're in bags there's two bags that have 65. um we just realized we picked up I don't want to say the wrong tuna we'll still use this tuna because we bought it but normally we get the albacore in water and this is chunk light in vegetable oil so we're gonna have to look and see if we want to eat this or if we do return it I hadn't I've never returned like a food item to Sam's before so I'll have to check on that we've only ever returned like non-food stuff you know so I'll have to double check on that but this is a 12 pack so unless we are just really against this kind we'll have to return it but we wanted to go ahead and stock up on tuna because this is an excellent quick easy lunch option and like I already mentioned with Mark having to you know he's kind of on his own with the kids for a few days and he has to track it's kind of hard so we wanted nice easy stuff for him so we'll see if that works out or not all right and then the kinders this is one that we are almost out of we have purchased them before we use it on a lot of stuff so it is the blend salt pepper and garlic I'm hoping to find some specific flavors. Um, Sam's did not have them other than this one that we like, but I'm looking for some specific flavors. So hopefully I find them at HEB. That's the next attached to this video, but that's the next um, place that we're going to. A bunch of bananas. I've got a few bananas on my meal plan. And of course the kids go through phases where they eat bananas all the time and then they don't. So we went ahead and got a big bunch of those. The premier protein was still on sale. Mark did go ahead and pick two of them up. He has enough to get him just to the end of this week. So since they were on sale and we don't plan on going back to Sam's Club for maybe two weeks or so, it just depends because now that there's some stuff that we like to have, if we run out, we're going to run into Sam's, but maybe they'll just end up being smaller hauls like this. But anyway, um, since they were on sale, he did go ahead and get both of them or two of them to last him. He has one a day, so this is 30 days worth. But one thing we did realize, just FYI, if you are if you don't know and you're going to Sam's Club to take advantage of this deal, you can only get two per membership, like for the entire sale. So it only, since we got one last week, it only gave us 550 off of one. The other one we did pay full, full price for, but Mark really likes the vanilla one. So went ahead and got two of those. All right, this is what we have opted to do. If you guys watched, I don't even know how long ago it was, right after Christmas maybe, Sam's Club haul where I picked up the 
Squishmallow cookie like pops for Pearl to take into school for Valentine's Day, it was just enough for the kids in her class minus her. So she has 25 kids total, including her in her class. It was two packs of 12. And so what we have opted to do is because Rose would like one, she has a friend or two that she would like to give a Valentine's you know, Day gift to. So Pearl is probably gonna do is the girls are gonna get the cookie pops and then the boys are going to get these. I thought they were really cute. So there's 12 swirl, like little lollipops in here and then 12 little containers of bubble gum. So there's 24 in here. We definitely have plenty for even if Pearl has a few extra kids that aren't in her class, friends that she wants to gift to for Valentine's Day, now we've got plenty. So I went ahead and picked that up. And then last but not least from Sam's, kids are almost out. I think we have two bottles of Gatorade left. So got the big pack of Gatorade Zero. These are the 12 ounce bottles. It's a 28 pack. There's eight grape, 12 orange, and eight glacier free. So again, I'm pretty sure the total is like 168 or something from Sam's Club, but Hopefully you guys caught all the prices I popped up. Popped up. Now we're gonna get to HEB and I'll share with you guys what all we picked up from there. And this guy is acting like he's about to jump up onto the HEB groceries. Okay, so you guys saw what we got from Sam's. Now we've got HEB here and picked up a few extra things as well. I think, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in the Sam's haul. I filmed that last night. We went to Sam's yesterday and Early this morning, ran into HEB. So I am going to be out of town for a couple days. So definitely wanted to stock up on just some easy peasy stuff for the kids. We'll start over here. And I didn't put like things together, but I'm pretty sure this is it as far as produce. We do have just a few things left over from last week. So we've got a head of lettuce here. This is for, we're gonna have smash burgers again one night. Those were so good. So we're gonna have that, and then of course, if Rose wants a BLT, she's got her lettuce for that. The tomatoes for the same two things, BLTs and smash burgers, if anybody wants a tomato on their burger. I've got some cilantro here. I know normally I take things out of the bags, but I'm just trying to get this over and, and done with and film so I can put all this stuff up. But um, this is cilantro. I'm pretty sure this is for, well, two dishes. We're having the chicken tortilla soup, We've already had that one. We loved it, so we're having it again. And then we are doing an Olive Garden like chicken pasta crock pot meal as well. And we can put, actually no, the cilantro is not for that because that, I'm using basil, dried basil. I can't remember. There is one more thing that we're using the cilantro for. I just cannot remember right now. I'll try to be good about posting my meals this week on Instagram if you guys wanna follow me over there because I'm not gonna be filming like a what I eat in a day or anything like that. Sweet petite carrots. These are for the kids to munch on. All right, we are gonna be trying out the creamy. Picked up a couple things for that. But um, also, I wanted to go ahead and just get some more Halo Top to have in the freezer. Mark and I had two different ones last week and we really enjoyed them. So he actually picked up a different flavor this time, the peanut butter cup. That one is for him. And then I really liked this sea salt caramel. The other one was okay. I think I got like a chocolate caramel brownie or something. That one was just okay. I'm not a huge fan of chocolate. Um, so like I said, it was just okay, but this sea salt caramel was really, really good. So I picked that up. All right, Mark needs some extra protein. So he picked up a few of these tuna pouches. They are all star kissed, different. I think it just, they range in protein and calories, but I'm pretty sure they're all under 114 to 16, 17 grams of protein. So we got the Sriracha one. He got the Thai chili, sweet and spicy, and jalapeno. Oh, he went with a, with a spice <laughs> this time. They do have some non-spicy ones as well. But those are the four that he's going to try. All right, for lunch today, we just went ahead and picked up stuff for the kids to make it nice and easy. They actually requested these for lunch. So we got the Sushi for Pearl. This is the California combo. Then Bryce really likes these oven roasted turkey sandwiches. So I got him this turkey sandwich and of course Rose with her nacho lunchable. <laughs> so we got the uploaded nacho lunchable for her. I am going to be doing a meal prep this week. I don't really have a ton to meal prep again with me being out of town and all that. Um, we're just taking it easy peasy, eating a lot of leftovers and repeat meals that we already had, uh, you know, the majority of ingredients for. So not a ton of 
meal prep other than I do have a few things that I want to do the kids and I did buy some jello that's over there like the pudding mix and when I was there I was like you know what I'm gonna go ahead and make some actual jello for the kids and I don't know if I've ever picked up grape if I have it's been a really long time so I'm gonna go ahead and make some grape jello for them just as an option as a little snack that's in the fridge for them some parmesan shredded cheese I'm pretty sure this is for the Olive Garden chicken pasta thing that we're doing in the slow cooker. Bryce requested some SpaghettiOs. We had one can in the pantry and I think last night the kids kind of thinned for themselves because Mark and I ate a few leftovers for dinner and Pearl had the last thing of SpaghettiOs we had and Bryce was like, oh, we need some more SpaghettiOs. So I didn't ask him which one he wanted. So I got two original because the original is what we had in the pantry and then I also got two with meatballs. So we're set on SpaghettiOs. Two cans of cream of chicken soup. This is for the chicken tortilla soup. That's the only thing we needed. We have everything else that we need for that recipe. All right, then coming down here, some bread. I got the thin sliced bread just for random sandwiches for if Rose has like a BLT or Bryce has a turkey sandwich, they can use this. And then the Nature's Own Honey Life, the wheat keto friendly bread. This is for grilled cheese. Mark's making some grilled cheese um, one night for dinner or lunch. I'm not sure what he has it on plan for, but he's doing this one day when I'm out of town for him and the kiddos. And then to go with the grilled cheese, he wanted some black forest ham. So he's going to be using black forest ham in his grilled cheese. We'll just keep going this way and work our way up and over. All right. For Bryce and Pearl, Pearl likes sandwiches too. Um, I went ahead and got, this was a little bit more like there's barely in, I mean, that's like one sandwich for Bryce, which is crazy. Maybe two, Maybe it's deceiving and there's more in there, but for the price, I just felt like this was really expensive, but he does prefer the really thick turkey. I just, I get the thinner ones just because it is a little cheaper and he eats so much of it that we would be, we would need to pay like buy stock in turkey breast if that was the case. So I did go ahead and get the carving board this time. I got two of them. I believe they were like four dollars each, but like I said, I feel like this is one, maybe two sandwiches for him and that's it but it's the oven roasted turkey breast browned with caramel color, but it's the thick pieces that he likes. So I did get that. Um, one lunch for Mark and I both, we are going to have this Lean Cuisine Protein Kick Vermont White Cheddar Mac and Cheese. We're having these little, these were in the freezer section, so they're like little freezer meals. And then we're having these with the sweet teriyaki, like chicken strips or chicken bites that we picked up from Sam's Club. That's gonna be a really yummy lunch. Got a bag of rotini. This is for the Olive Garden chicken pasta in the crock pot. I did go ahead and pick up a few Valentine's items that I'm just gonna stash away. I got three packs of these Nerds gummy clusters. Each of the kids gonna get one in their Valentine's Day bag. So I picked those up and then I was gonna pick one of these each up for the kids to put in their Valentine's Day bag because they love these Andes mints. But there's 28 pieces in here and I feel like that's a little much for each kiddo. <laughs> so I just got one and I'll just have this set out or I'll just, you know, I, I just have it for them. Um, they can have it now, whatever. I haven't made up my mind, but I, I got those for them because we were talking about, when we were doing our meal plan and we were talking about Olive Garden, Rose made a comment. She's like, oh, I love those mints. And the other two like them as well. So when I saw those, I was like, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and get them. So actually, yeah, we just figured it out. I'm not gonna save these for Valentine's Day. I'm just gonna let them have them they're gonna be excited about seeing that okay breakfast nuggets i i'm pretty sure jimmy dean is the brand and i've purchased the bags twice i believe but it has been a little while and i cannot find them anywhere i have been to every single store i can think of now other than costco but i don't maybe i got them from costco i don't know i'm gonna have to ask kira next time she goes to costco i'll have her look for them but bryce has been asking for them the last few weeks and i just can't find them so i did see these and i was like this is very similar they're just a little bigger the the breakfast nuggets are small but it's got the same exact thing in it it's sausage egg and cheese so i got these biscuit roll-ups for him and hopefully he likes that that way he can get that craving done with um some cottage cheese i've been having that as a little snack most days so i needed some more of that the light daisy light sour cream is to go on just the top of a couple different dinners we did or we feel like we're going to run out of egg whites and I didn't want to buy those six boxes again from Sam's Club because they're actually small. I thought it was like six big big ones and they would last us several weeks, but they're 
fairly small. So I do feel like I prefer picking these up and maybe going forward, we'll just get a little more. I think last week or the week before we got, yeah, the week before we got two of these and we didn't have enough. So we got the six from Sam's Club and I just prefer these bigger ones. So we did get the real egg whites, liquid egg whites. And then cashew milk is what was originally on my list when we were like the first week of this eight week program that we're on, but we could not find cashew milk. So we got almond milk and then we, we've been using almond milk. I didn't think about it when we went to Sam's Club last week and we got more, but HEB had the cashew milk. So when we run out of the almond milk, we'll try the cashew milk and just see which one we like better. But the cashew milk does have a little less calories in it. So went ahead and picked that up. Um, H-E-B is the only place we can find our favorite salsa, and that happens to be Mark's Good Stuff, the blue label, the restaurant salsa. They have a couple different kinds. The blue label is our favorite, and we do need that for a recipe this week. All right, so at Sam's Club, we did get that tuna. We're gonna return it. It is a, the wrong one. We didn't like the, the macros and the nutrition ingredients on the back and all of that. So we went ahead and just picked up this four pack of the chunk white albacore tuna in water, and we will return that other one. I forget what, I already forget what it was, but I know it's in vegetable oil and we just don't want that, and that was my bad. I just grabbed the tuna without even looking at it and put it in the cart. So. We're gonna return that. All right, here's the pudding mixes that we got. So I got a couple extra than what we actually needed. I need this chocolate fudge, sugar-free jello pudding for something. And then I also need the cheesecake. Nope, actually I needed white chocolate, but they didn't have it. But what we're making, we're gonna do that protein cheesecake again. And I feel like the cheesecake will be good in that anyway. So I went ahead and got the sugar-free cheesecake and I did pick two of those up because I know we like this one. And that way we have it in the pantry for next time. And then this one sounded good, banana cream. So I'm thinking we'll do those mini cherry pies that we've been had. We had it for dessert twice already. And I think maybe in the future next week or something that they will be good with banana cream and maybe like a sugar-free chocolate drizzle on top or something or caramel. I don't know. But I was like, oh, this banana cream would be really good as a pie. So went ahead and grabbed those jello pudding mixes. All right, this is another thing. I said last week, I was like, you know what? I'm almost done with my like Christmas cake cups, the pods that I have for my coffee machine. And I'm just gonna go with regular Folgers. That's what Mark likes, makes it easy peasy. But we have plenty of room. I have, if you guys have seen in my coffee bar area, I have a drawer system that I keep my pods in. And yes, we'll keep getting the Folgers for Mark because that's what he likes. He's no longer drinking Monsters, he's onto coffee. So that's awesome. But I just like mixing it up. So I was like, nah, I'm gonna go ahead and get some. So my little coffee organizer is completely empty except for the top rack, which has Mark's Folgers, and the bottom rack, which has decaf coffee, which is what the kids have. Yes, you can have the salt and pepper. Rose is having her. Is that a bagel? Yum, some avocado on a bagel with some salt and pepper on it. She was like tiptoeing in here um, <laughs> to grab the salt and pepper. So, okay, anyway, so she, she's she got her breakfast made. Like I said, we went early in the morning to H-E-B, so they're all just now getting up and having breakfast. But these are the, the coffee cups that I picked up. So I got the Community Mardi Gras King Cake. I got the Cafe Ole Taste of San Antonio. And then I've had these two before. This one's new. This is also Cafe Ole, but it says it's their commemorative collection and it's caramel coconut. So I'm really excited about these. Like I said, I just like to change it up a little bit. So I just can't, I like the Folgers. It's good. It's just regular coffee. And I like a little something, something extra. So went ahead and picked those up. All right, we are out of pickles. So needed the hamburger dill chips for our smash burgers. And then the kosher baby dills are for Rose and Pearl. They like to snack on those. So I went ahead and picked those up, just one gallon of milk. That's all we're needing right now since Mark's not drinking milk anymore. So one gallon to get us through the next week. And then these are these Reese's. I'm gonna have to hide so the kids don't get into them. They can get into them after I get what I need out. But we're gonna do a Reese's creamy, like ice cream in our creamy machine that we picked up. So I'm very excited about that. So I got the pieces and the minis. We need both of those for that. And that is it, you guys, from H-E-B. I think the total, I didn't say the total. I mean, I popped up prices, but I think the total was $200. I believe it was right around $200. And I'm, never mind, I'm not done. Hold up. 
it was around $200, but I totally missed a couple things. So I missed these. <laughs> I'm, I'm distracted, I guess. But these I got for Pearl and Bryce. Really, Rose doesn't like this kind of thing. But again, just easy peasy things while I'm gone. Or right now also, they can have these like tomorrow for lunch or something. But these are burger melts. There's six in there. It's a beef patty, cheese, and it's like a little pita sandwich that it's in and then same exact thing but it's chicken so it's got the cheese the pita little pocket and then chicken in there for them and there's six in each box so i got those for Ro with rose or with pearl and bryce in mind and then i totally forgot the sodas so i just went ahead and stocked up we still have a few cokes left probably enough to get us through this week but that's it and i wanted to make sure that we had a plenty and that way because Next week is gonna be a little difficult. I'm gonna be meal planning, meal prepping, and all of that a little later than I normally do. So I was like, you know what? We didn't get as many groceries this week, so let's go ahead and stock up on the drinks. That's one less thing I have to worry about next week. So went with three different kinds. We got the, of course, Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. That's my number one. And then just in case I'm feeling like I need something a little sweet, the sodas help with that. So I'm not eating anything, zero sugar, all the things, so I'd rather drink it so we've got the cherry vanilla coke zero and then the dr pepper cream soda is also another one of my favorites when i'm craving something sweet but we got that in the zero sugar as well so i think hopefully i didn't forget anything else my bad that i totally just glazed over those two but but now that's everything that we picked up from heb all right so that is everything that we picked up from the grocery store this week to set us up or get us going on another week of meals i hope you guys enjoyed this video i am going to be doing a little bit of meal prepping so stay tuned for that video but give this one a big thumbs up subscribe if you are new i hope you're having a fantastic day and i will see you in the next one bye